Today I'm going to show you how to create a bouncing ball using Adobe Flash. So, first thing we want to do is create a new action script. And we're going to draw a ball on our stage. So I'm going to press and hold on the rectangle tool and go to the oval tool. And I'm going to hold down the shift button on my keyboard while I draw my circle so that it's perfectly round. The next thing we're going to do is make our circle here look a little more realistic. So I'm going to go up to the Selection tool, which is the black arrow, click on the circle, and up here where it says Type, I'm going to click and change that from Solid to Radial. Okay, now it starts uh, as black in the center and works out to white. What I'm going to do is go over here and double click on the color. A ball, so double click on the white, double click and the red. And now we have a ball that is red. What we're going to do now is make it look a little more 3D and like the light is coming from the ceiling. So I'm going to click and hold on the third button down here, which is the free transform button. And I'm going to choose the gradient transform tool and click on my sphere or on my circle again. Uh, I'm going to pick up the center of this and move it to the top right. And what that does is it makes it look like the light source is coming from above. I'm also going to make the light source a little bit bigger by clicking on the middle circle right here and stretching that out. There we go. So now I've got my ball. What we're going to do now is change the ball from a drawing into a symbol so that we can animate it. I'm going to use my selection tool and select the ball, right click on it, and choose convert to symbol. I'm going to give it the name ball. Okay, so now we have a ball ready to be made into a movie. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a ground for the ball to bounce on. Before I do that, I need to create a new layer for my ball, uh, sorry, for the ground. So I'm going to go up here to the top left and there's a piece of paper. I'm going to click on that and it's going to create a new layer. So layer two is going to be the ground layer. Layer one will be the ball. We have to keep the ground and the ball in separate layers because if I animate the ball and the ground is drawn on the same layer, the ground will move too. And so we want the ball to hit the ground. I'm going to click on my ground layer, make sure it's selected, that's important. I'm going to use the line tool and change my thickness here to about five and I'll draw in a ground so the ball has something to bounce on. The next thing we need to do is set up some keyframes. Uh, right now our video is 12 frames per second. We're going to change it so that it's 20 frames per second. And we're going to set up our first keyframe. Okay. At the start of our movie, we're going to have the ball at the top of the video. And this little circle right here in the ball lay, uh, layer means that it's a keyframe. And right now our film only goes for one frame. We're going to go over here to frame 35 and right click and insert a new keyframe. Be careful not to insert a blank keyframe. So insert keyframe. You can see now we have a black dot there. We're going to go somewhere in, uh, oh sorry, before we do that we're going to set up a frame for the ground. So I'm going to click above uh, frame 35 on the ball, right click and just say insert frame. And now we have You'll notice the ground on frame 35 as well. I'm going to go about halfway, so let's say 16 or 17. Right click halfway and insert another keyframe. So now we've set up three keyframes for our ball. Now what we want to do is we have our ball at the top. When it starts, it should fall and bounce by about halfway and then bounce back to the top. So at the start of our video, it's at the top. At the end of our video, it's at the top, but in the center, we want to take our ball and move it down to the ground. So we've got at the first keyframe, it's at the top, the middle keyframe, it's at the bottom, and the third keyframe, it's back at the top. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so not great. There's no frame in between landing on the ground and going back up top. So what we want to do now is we want to set up something called a motion tween. It'll calculate all the frames between the ball falling and hitting on the ground. If I go between my first 
and middle keyframe on my ball layer and right click, I can say create motion tween. And that will calculate all the ball falling. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Right click and say, oops, right click and say create motion tween and we'll have the ball bouncing back up. So let's see what it looks like now. Okay, better, but not great. What we're going to do is we want the ball to accelerate as it falls and decelerate as it goes back up. So I'll go halfway between my first and middle keyframe, go down here to ease, and we'll set it to a negative ease of 100. On the other side, we'll click halfway between the middle keyframe and end free keyframe and set up an ease of 100. And now we'll see that it accelerates as it falls and decelerates as it goes back up. All right, let's make our ball bounce. Right now we have this center keyframe. We're going to set up two other keyframes around it. One here, insert keyframe, and one here on the other side, insert keyframe. Now what we want to do is we're going to move the ball back down to the bottom on that first keyframe. The middle keyframe, it's already at the bottom. And the last keyframe, again, we're going to move it back to the bottom. Okay, back to this keyframe. Let's click and hold here until we get the free transform tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to squash our ball a little bit, move it down. Then we'll click this keyframe and we will shrink it in this direction a little bit. And let's see our results. We have a ball that stretches and bounces a lot nicer than it looked before. We'll set the easing back to 100 here. And there we go. We have our bouncing ball.